Hi, let's learn how to play Hotel California on our guitars. Throughout the video, you'll see different modifications for people who are just starting off. And I'm also going to give you a few tips on how to be more advanced with the piece. So let's get started. Let's do the chords on the first verse. Just give me one down strum and then breathe for three beats. This is how we're gonna do it. One, two, three. One, two, like this, okay, let's go. One, two, Ready, go. One, two, three. We're just warming up. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If that strumming pattern felt pretty simple for you, then I'm gonna give you one that's a little more advanced. It's gonna be down, 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 up, and then do it again with the same chord. Down, 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 up. Then we switch. Let's try it. One, Two, ready, go now. Down, 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 up, down. Switch now. Down, down, up, down, down. Switch now. Down, 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 up, down. Down, switch. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Now I'm gonna give you another strumming pattern that sounds a little bit more like the essence of this song. And it sounds like this. I'll break it down in a second, but I wanna get it in your ear first. I'm going to play it with the next chord. I'm next, now I'm going to say it. If you can say it, you'll be able to play it. Ready, go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Next chord, ready, go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So now let me break down this strumming pattern so that anybody at any level can do it. First, let's go to the A minor and give me down, down. And make sure there's a little space between them. Don't give me down, down, no. Down, down. Notice that little pause, that's important. Ready, go. Down, down. Again, go. Down, down. Now I'd like down, down, up. Down, down, up. There's a slight hesitation there. Ready, go. Down, down, up. Again, go down, down, up. Again, go down, down, up. Last time, go down, down, up. Now we're gonna do another up. Down, down, up, up, down. Actually, let's add that final down. It feels more natural. Ready, go. Down, down, up, up, down. Again, go now. Down, down, up, up, down. If that stumbled you, clap it. Down, down, up, up, down. Again, go. Down, down, up, up, down. Because if you can say it and feel it, you'll be able to strum it. Again, go now. Down, down, up, up, down. Try not to play it this time. Just listen. Ready, and listen again, listen only. This time watch my strumming hand, only watch my strumming hand. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. One, two, ready, go now. The final part of the strum is quite easy. It's just down, up, down, up. Give me that, just the down, up, down, up. Ready, go. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Do that a few times. Down, up, down, up. Play with joy. Breathe. And release any tension you might be holding on the shoulders. Remember, this is, we're, do, we're doing this for fun, right? So the full strumming pattern, again, sounds like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Now, if you'd like this in printed form, I'm going to add a link down below. There's a PDF you can download for this. Here's my recommendation. The strumming pattern, if it's making you stumble, um, write it down and practice it. Like when you're watching TV, if you're on a bus, if you're on the train, if you, anytime you have any kind of moment where you can practice something random, just do it in the air, do it on your seatbelt, do it on your shirt, down down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, 
down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And this motion you'll be able to bring to the guitar if you're stumbling on the strumming pattern. And for today, just do the other strumming pattern, the down, 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 up, down, down, down. It sounds beautiful. Okay, so I've purposely avoided a section of the verse. So we let's play through it. Let's play through part of the verse. Here we go, from the top, A minor. And I'll show you which part I've been avoiding. One, two, ready, go. Now, down, down. A simplified F. You're going to ignore the strings that are closest to your face, string six and five. Don't play those, don't strum those, don't hold those. Because normally that F is the full range, right? And for me it comes out when I just hold it, but switching into it, it's like a gamble. So here's one that works better for me. Starting on string four, you play Fritz, three, two, one, one. Let me get closer. Three, two, one, one. The index finger, I'm gonna do it backwards. I'm gonna go from strings one and two. You hold that with your index and then you're gonna staircase down. Staircase down. So one, one, two, three. If you're thinking from strings one to four. And you're just gonna strum on those that you're pressing. That's an F, that's an F. So you're gonna do down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, or the simplified strumming pattern, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And then you go to the C chord after that. Down, 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 Let's try the F and the C. I'll do the simpler strumming pattern for right now. Later on, I'll do a playthrough with both strumming patterns. One, two, ready, go now. Down, 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 down. C chord now. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. If you're getting a little frustrated right now, that's okay, that happens. If that's you, give me just a single down strum and count to four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and that'll sound just as beautiful and when you listen to the original piece there are many moments where it almost sounds like the car guitar is just doing one single down strum and letting the notes ring so we are still being authentic to the piece so let's do the last uh, four chords there from the F one two ready go now one two three C chord two D Minor. Oh, I pressed the wrong string. Ignore me. Ready and <laughs> I messed that one up. I messed that one up. Let's do it again for me. For me. One, two, focus. Ready, go now. Down. I'm saying focus for me. C, D minor, E seven. Take a breath, remind your face that you're not mad. Let's do the whole verse. You can do it in any strumming pattern that you choose. I'm gonna do it with single strums first and we'll play this the verse several times. And the chords in the verse, the pattern repeats itself on other verses. So we are learning all the verses at once. Here we go. One, two, ready, go now, one. Two, three, four, breathe. Two, three, four, breathe. Two, next chord now. Two, next chord now. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, ready, go. Two, three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna do the next strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, down. Little tip. Uh, sometimes when we're excited about a piece, we do this. Uh, we make our strumming hand really wide. 
bring that down and be more delicate with this. There is a time for being louder, especially with this song, but it happens later. You don't want to give it all away in the beginning. You want to build into it. And if you start up here, there's nowhere left to go. So start here. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Less is more. Go down. If you're stumbling, jumping into the F chord, then my recommendation is after you've played the D, like the, the chord right before the F, look at your fretboard. So you're gonna do G, and then D. At this point, look at your fretboard, don't look up at the screen. Look at your fretboard, and land that index finger first, and then the other fingers. Sometimes as beginners, we will stop the strum until all the fingers have landed, but the pros don't do this. The pros, they keep the strumming hand because it's like a clock. And if we stop the strumming, the song stops. So keep the hand going. Now I'm gonna do it with the most challenging of the strumming patterns, um, but you can still play any of the other strumming patterns or make up your own as you're doing this. Okay, here we go. One. Two, one, two, I'm ready, go now. So let's do a little quick pause here. So if you're enjoying the lesson so far and you would like to help the channel, please either hit the like button or press the share button, share it on um, one of your pages or email it to a friend or leave a comment and let me know which drum pattern you're playing so far. And if you're making up one on your own, let me know what that is in the comments. Any engagement with the video really helps it to perform better and helps keep the channel going. So thank you. Now we have arrived at the chorus and the first four chords that we need are F, then C, E7, A minor. Let's do those four in time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, switch now. Remember to breathe. Switch now. Two, three, four, and good, good, good. Okay, now add a strumming pattern. It can be the simpler one or the more advanced one. Here we go. One, two, ready, go now. Come to the hotel, California. What a lovely place. What a lovely face. Good, let's do it one more time just for fun. One, two, ready, go now. Welcome to the hotel, California. What a lovely place. What a lovely face. So I'm gonna keep going. Any around at the hotel, California. What a nice and fun. Any time of year, you can find it here. <laughs> Excuse the errors there. Okay, so um, let's analyze the chords in this chorus. We have F, C, E7, A minor. If you notice in the verse that F and the C are always around each other, same with the E7 and the A minor. So that's nice to see. Next, we have another F, C repeating. 
And then we end with a D minor and an E7. And that's exactly how we ended the verse. So it's nice to see that we have um, some pattern here. And pattern, you don't necessarily have to memorize the piece if you don't want to. But if you need those moments to look at your fretboard, it's nice to know what is the chord that's coming next, okay? So let's play through the chorus. One, two, ready, go. Now F, C chord, E7, A minor, back to F go. D minor, E7, down, 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 up, down. And you can have those moments where you just do single strums and let the guitar ring for you. Um, so I think it would be so cool if we did the chords for a verse and then the chorus together. So the thing that we'll have to learn how to transition to is from an E7, which is the end of the verse, to an F. So try that right now. Take a few seconds to try E7, F, E7, F, and memorize that. And if all of this is feeling really easy for you, then maybe it's time to start trying the full bar F. And if it feels uncomfortable to try it at the very top, um, bring it down a few frets. It won't be an F, but it'll help you to learn the shape and then work your way down and then switch into it. Because that's where the magic is, right? Learning how to switch into it. All right, let's do a verse and let's go into the chorus. The verse. One, two, one, two, ready, go. switched up the lyrics there but hopefully it uh, felt <laughs> like a good practice of the song to do the verse and the chorus together. If you want to play along with the recording of the song you'll need a capo on your guitar and if you want to do an outro it would just be the same chords in the verse. So just for fun let's play a verse and a chorus again. Here we go. One. Two, one, two, ready, go. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you would like to support me so that I can continue teaching like this, there are so many ways to do it. I'm going to list a few right now. One way to do it is whenever you see a new video for this channel, watch the video. That works wonders for this page. Another way to do it is to always leave a comment. Say, hey, I'm enjoying watching your videos or I'm watching from 
Washington or Maryland or London, wherever you are in the world. I love seeing where you're watching and it helps support the channel. Another thing you could do is visit my shop or join my Patreon community. I do have a shop and I ship out all the items myself. And then in my Patreon community, I put out tutorials. If you enjoyed this one, I teach live lessons via Zoom. And another way that you can support is by attending a live event, a place like one of the events that I go to in person. So it's really fun to meet up and hang out. And then um, the last way you can support is by following me on Instagram. I do share ukulele and guitar tutorials over there too. So yeah, lots of ways, lots of ways for us to connect. But right now you're doing the best thing that can support the channel, which is to watch this video all the way through. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know which videos you'd like to see in the future in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!